So we're gonna make ourselves some chocolate candies, but we're also going to make some jigglers. So I went and grabbed a strawberry box, put one and a fourth cups boiling hot water into one six ounce package, and we are going to stir it and refrigerate. Now it's gonna be hard for me to pour just like so. So I think I'm gonna get myself a cup that I can squish. So I want to be able to put it in the refrigerator without spilling. You know, I'm going to fine tune this a little more. Okay, so I am discovering from the robot ones and from the dinosaur ones that if it's too detailed the jigglers don't want to release because they are they're not as strong as say chocolate so, or crayons if you were trying to use these to make crayons that would also be a much stronger material than say a jiggler would I'm going to start with my big robot I'm scared So there's my cute little robot, which is the one I'm going to eat because I've just put my fingers all over him. Yay! Okay. Now, let's see what we can give my son. Now, he's been sick recently, and Jell-O is very high in protein from what I was told when I worked in a nursing home. I never researched it, so let's not put that in the Bible. But that's what they would have me give some of the people who were having a hard time eating because it was very easy to digest and, uh, and they said it gave them the protein. So, I will gladly give him some jigglers and he will gladly eat them because they are oh so yummy. Hmm. Some of these owls are a little detailed as well and sticking, but what's coming off is oh so cute. Okay, I have to eat one. They're just so good. Mmm. These are the yummiest owls I've ever had. And I don't normally go for eating owl. Usually I like to just make them some little nests. They're so cute. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to let the owls, I'll come back to them in a minute. Let me see how the robots were. These little guys. Hmm, he broke in half. What a shame, I have to eat him. Hmm. <laughs> This is not going as smoothly as I thought. <laughs> this is what happens when you make stuff up, right? Oh, look at you. You turned out pretty. Hello. I'm sure there is a technique that makes this all pop out smoother, but I'm not one for technique. I'm one for give it to me now. So I apologize for not being able to show you that technique. Now I'm messing with the eggs. That's the ribbon. I missed a lot of this one. Yeah, I'm just going to eat that. Mm, sorry. <laughs> My poor son, there's not going to be much left over for him. <laughs> and there's the ribboned one. Uh, ribbed one, the, the slinky. Okay, so when I flipped it over and decided to watch what I was doing, I seemed to get much better results. Watch, now that I'm showing you, it's probably not going to work. 
But I was just, yep, like that. Easy peasy, came out beautiful. I just stick my finger at the top and push down. Let me see if that works with the robots. Or let me see here. I'll just push my finger at one end and just keep pushing down. Oh my goodness. Darn it. I went and came up with a technique. Why did I do that? Now I'm actually good at something. This is not cool. Okay, so at the top, <laughs> I'm getting really good. And push on down. Okay, so there you go. Darn it, I taught you something. I'm out. So far, the marble one is the only one I have not yet used, and I've been thinking this hand would make an awesome multicolored crayon. If you put a different color on each finger, I want to try that for my nephew. But not until I've done food items. I mean, you could always wash it out. You could do crayons and then do other stuff. I'm not scared. But nonetheless, I would still like my chocolate first. I did go and buy a lot of chocolate. What I forgot to get was coconut because I want to sprinkle coconut on top, but oh well. This will make a nice chocolate bar right there. I wish I had some Hershey's crisps. I not Hershey's. I wish I had some crisps. That would be awesome. But so this one I have yet to play with, but I'm getting ready to. In the meantime, I did just want to show them to you and show you how very easily they cleaned up. Sorry, I haven't finished drying them, but I just I put them in a few inches of water, let them sit for a few minutes, rinse them off, and I was done. Yeah. Very, very, very easy to clean off.